the best 32 football teams, uh, soccer teams in the in the world are going to be meeting up in, in Russia this summer. Not only do we obsess on the World Cup, but many of us also have this obsession about this Panini World Cup album. So this is a sticker album. I'll show you the one from four years ago. This is the, the one from World Cup 2014 in Brazil. You get to see all the different countries that are participating, all the different players that are participating. It's kind of sad I couldn't fill it. I, I was not able to get all the stickers, but the idea is that hopefully you are able to get all of them and you get to learn a lot about the players and, and just be more engaged with it, with uh, what's happening. So when you just buy it, with, like I just did this morning, it looks like this and it's, it's completely empty. And you can see, for example, Colombia. This is the team that I'm excited about. And so these are the names of all the different players. And then you get these sticker packs. So there's five in a, in a five little stickers in a little pack. To anybody who's been doing this for many years, we even know what this thing smells like. It's like the, you know the smell of childhood right here. You'll be excited about this one. I just got Massimo Luongo from uh, Australia. You know, I, I take these stickers and I and I stick them on the album. I've been asking myself, how much of my paycheck am I going to be spending on this? Because you know, I'm a mathematician. I can do the calculation and I know that this is not a great idea. It's going to be costing a lot of money, but I kind of want to think about how much is it going to cost. The sticker album this year has 682 stickers. The last one is 681, but for some reason they decided that the first one should have number zero. So there's 682 stickers. Each one of these packs costs a dollar. There's five stickers in each one. And so that means that each sticker is 20 cents. The difficult thing is that I don't get to choose what's what's in here. So, you know, if I got super lucky and uh, uh, I got all the stickers that I wanted with no repeats, then there would be 682 stickers. So when I multiply this, this would be the cost of filling the album, $136.40. But of course, there's no way that I'm ever going to get that lucky. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, you know, if, if anybody has done this before, they know that you keep getting repeats and repeats and repeats. And so what I'm asking myself is, how many stickers will I need to buy until I get all of them? Actually, this is something that people have tried to do before. So the most recent story that came out talked about how uh, it would cost about $1,000 to fill the album. And I see where they get that, but uh, I, wanna, I wanna give us a, a different way of thinking about this because the, the problem is that that estimate of $1,000 assumes that you're just buying and buying and buying and buying stickers. And that's not really how it works. Uh, how it works is that many people around, around you are buying stickers. And so whenever you get repeats and they get repeats, then you're, you're able to swap with each other. And that way you're able to lower the costs. Let's say that we're trying to find this number n, which is the number of stickers I expect to buy before I get every sticker at least once. This is the lonely sticker collector version. I'm in, I'm, I'm in the US, I have nobody to trade with, and so I'm just going to imagine that I'm, that I'm buying and buying stickers until I get them all. Let me try to define ni to be how many stickers it took me to get between the ith new sticker and the i plus one new sticker. Okay, so for example, n0 will be how many stickers until I get the first new one. And one will be how many times until I get the second new one. So you can imagine, for example, what, what is N200? That means that I've, I've bought a lot of packs, I have 200 of the players, and now I, I really want to get ne the next one. So I'm looking for, for some new one that I, that I don't have in my album yet. And then I keep, I keep buying and buying and buying stickers until I get one that I don't have yet. And however many stickers it takes me, I'm going to call that number NI. The total number of stickers is going to be basically, you know, how long did it take me to get the first new one? plus how long did it take me to get the second new one, and so on, until I get the last new one. This is how long it's going to take me to find the very last one. And so if I want to find this number n, how many stickers I need to buy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to find each one of these numbers. And let's just say we want to compute n200, for an example. What I want you to imagine is this. I have 200 stickers, and now I'm going to buy a new one. So you can imagine I, I open a pack, I grab one of them, and this is this is what I get, Jonathan Dos Santos from Mexico. And then what I do is that I, I have to look and see, do I already have Jonathan Dos Santos? Is he one of the 200 that I already have? Or do I not have him yet? And of course, there's, there's 682 possibilities of which one this could be. This is number 461. But you know, it could be anything between 0, 1, 681. Let's imagine that I put a circle around the ones that I already have. So let's say that I already found sticker number 1. I haven't found 0. I haven't found 2. Let's say that I did find 461 already, and I haven't found 681. So I pulled another sticker out, and, and I want you to imagine Who's that it? this is Andreas Christensen from Denmark, number 257. And now imagine that I open my album, and I find that Andreas Christensen is not one that I have already. So I get, I get to stick him right away. 
And so it only took me one new sticker to get a one new player. Okay. So if this was the first one that I drew, then it would take me one new sticker. You know, if I happen to draw this one out, then it, it takes me one sticker to get a new one. Here, it takes me one sticker to get a new one. But now let's let's go back to the reality where I actually pulled Jonathan dos Santos, and I did have Jonas, Jonathan dos Santos already. And so now the question is, how many stickers is it going to take me from now on? Well, this was a waste. You know, I already had Jonathan dos Santos. He's not useful to me, so I need to draw again. How many new steps is it going to take me to get the next one? Well, this is precisely the definition of the number n200. So I wasted this step, and, and it's like I have to start over, and it's still going to take me n200 steps because that's what that number means. So if I draw Jonathan dos Santos, it's actually going to take me 1 plus n200 stickers before I get a new one. The same, for example, if I draw number 1, it's going to take me 1 plus n200. So basically, depending on what I draw here, it's either going to work right away, I just draw one sticker and it's a new one, or if I already had it, then it's going to take me 1 plus n200 stickers. How many stickers? did I already have? I had 200 stickers already. So in 200 of the draws, it's going to take me this many steps to get the next one. Whereas for the stickers that I'm missing, which is a lot, I'm missing 482 of them, it's going to go right away. And so when I average these numbers over the total number, which is 682, well, that average is going to be how long it takes me to get that new sticker. So I get this nice equation. And now, if you look at this equation, you're going to find that 200 plus 482 is equal to 682. So this equation is just saying this is equal to 1 plus 200 over 682 times n of 200. What I get is that the number of stickers that I should expect to buy before I get the 201st new one is going to be this one. So that's one computation. Now, as you can imagine, the same argument will work for any one of these numbers. Okay. And so what I want to do now is Generalize. Generalize and do this for any one of these numbers. And I think the key thing that we should realize here is where did this 482 come from? Well, you saw what happened. It was 682 minus 200. And i, which is how many stickers I need to buy between the i new sticker and the i plus first new sticker, is going to be 682 divided by 682 minus i. And so if I combine these two, what I'm going to get is that n is equal to 682 over 682 plus 682 over 681, 682 over 680. You can see, when you opened your first pack, you were definitely going to get a, a sticker you didn't have. Exactly. So this is, this is the number n sub 0. How long is it going to take me to get the first new sticker? For sure, no matter what the first one I get is, that's going to that's gonna come right away. And as you go on, it gets harder and harder and harder and harder to get a new one. What is the last one? And so I get 682 divided by 682 minus 681, which is equal to 1. That makes sense as well, because when, you, when there's one sticker you need, you've got a 1 in 682 chance of getting it. And it's so hard to get it. And I think it's worth uh, delving on this point a little bit. This is how long it takes you to get the very last sticker, OK? And anybody who's collected this, who collected anything knows that this gets so much harder and at the very end if I already got every single sticker and I'm only missing one and I ask myself how many should I buy until I get that new one it's gonna take me a whole album's worth just to get that last sticker so I think at this point there's two kinds of people there's one kind of people who will be like oh this is so beautiful let's explore the mathematics of this and there's other people that will say well what's the answer Let's talk about what the answer is first, and then we'll come back to the beautiful mathematics behind this. What is this number? I computed, I, I computed it. I went to a computer. I worked it out that this number is about 4,844. So this is the number of stickers that I should expect to buy. That's a lot of money. I'm not about to do that. I don't have that kind of paycheck. What if you use the service that Panini offers, which is that once you have 50 stickers that you're missing, then you can just order them from them. Just send me those, and then I'll, I'll fill my album and I don't have to trade it with anybody. I basically have to do this computation, except that instead of going all the way from 0 to 682, I want to do it from 0 to 632. It's about 1,775 stickers. Okay. What a saving! So we're coming down from 1,000 to 355, and I think that's pretty shocking that to get the first 632 stickers costs you 355, and to get the last 50, 
it's like over six hundred dollars. Do we have to pay Panini for those fifty though? Uh, we do, and I have to be honest that I, I, I think they do it at face value, but I'm not totally sure. But that's not fun. I mean, the, the whole point of this is to buy stickers and trade it with other people and so on. And so I think we, would, we should go for a little bit of a more realistic scenario, uh, where we have a bunch of people that are trying to fill the album together. So thankfully, there's this nice model that, uh, that Donald Newman and Lawrence Shep came up with. Let's say that we want to buy stickers among a bunch of people. In this case, N is 682, that's the number of stickers. And F is just however many friends are, are part of this so Federico, the model that you're about to talk to me about isn't how hard it will be to fill one album, it's for everyone to fill their album. All the friends will fill their albums. Exactly, so, so it's, a, it's a collective goal. Everybody wants to fill the album, we're all going to help each other out. And so they came up with this amazing formula. I should warn you that it's kind of an ugly formula. It's a big formula, it's messy, and I'm not even expecting that everybody will understand it, but the, the whole point that I want to make is that there's a formula. Okay, so let me show you that messy formula. Number of stickers divided by number of friends. So far this is fine, and now this is where it gets messy. It's an integral it's from zero to infinity of some very big expression. It looks like this, one minus, a big parenthesis, one minus, there's a quotient here. Here I get one plus x, plus x squared, let's say x over 1, x squared over 1 times 2, x cubed over 1 times 2 times 3, and so on, until the number of friends minus 1. And I take all of that and I divide it by e to the x. <laughs> I warned you this is messy. Now you take a parenthesis here and you take this whole thing and raise it to the n, which is the number of stickers, and then you close the parenthesis and then this is an integral with variable x, and so it's the integral here dx. It's a monster. It's a monster. I think it's beautiful, but <laughs> maybe you have to have a taste for these kinds of things. What I think is beautiful is not that I see this and I think it's really beautiful. What I think is beautiful is that I just need to plug in n for the number of stickers, f for the number of people, and I'm going to get the answer for how many stickers per person we expect to be, to be by. How much of a saving is it to be a sticker swapper? So what, what we need to do is figure out how to plug in this thing. One thing I will say is that if, if the number n and the number f are pretty small, then this expression is actually not too bad. And, and if you've taken a course in integral calculus, you will have the tools to compute this for n and f small. But the problem is that we're looking at n is equal to 682. We want to do this for various values of f. And so really we're going to have to ask a computer for help here. And so we're just going to plug into a computer and, and we, I did this ahead of time and I'll show you some of the results. So for example, for f equal to 1, I got no friends, I'm doing it by myself, then we should get the old answer that we got when, when we were just buying and not trading. And you find that the answer is 4,844, $969. Now let's say that it's just you and me, Brady, and we're gonna, we're gonna do this together. And so now we have two friends, and as you can imagine, it's going to be a little, a little bit cheaper. Then the answer that you get is 3219. So in total, we're going to buy like 6,400 stickers, but it's 3,200 each. So this is not what we want to do either. We, we should probably find some more friends because I, I don't know about you, but I'm not about to spend $644 on this no. Panini album, okay? No, I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not that crazy. You see, I've, I've never filled an album. Let's try five friends. So if we have five friends, the cost starts getting quite a bit lower. So now it's going to be 2,050 2, stickers per person, uh, which is about... $410 per person. Wow, so if, I've, if I'm trading with four other people, I will have, I will better than have what I have to cost. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, and you can imagine we probably shouldn't stop there, right? Of course, the, the, the more friends, this is going to keep going down lower and lower and lower. Okay, and so I actually just uh, ran this for 10 friends, 20 friends, and 50 friends. I should say that it wasn't me running this, so uh, I got the wonderful help of my student, Viviana Marquez, and I want to give her credit because She's much better with computers than me. So that's looking much better, I think. Where's yeah. this heading towards? You know, if I live in Colombia where everyone's obsessed with these stickers and there's a population in the millions, like, how low can this go? Does it bottom out anywhere? Uh, so, so there's something called the law of large numbers, which says that basically once we, uh, once we have enough people, then it's going to cost each of us essentially the cost of an album. 682. So if I multiply that by 20 cents, I get 136. Of course, it can't be lower than that, because I need to buy all the stickers. Uh, and so, you know, basically, however, whatever price you're willing to pay, that's kind of how you need to figure out how much you need to trade. And I think this is a good argument for really 
uh, using the Panini as the social experience that it is and actually going out and, and, and seeking out friends. And, and the more that you do it, the lower that the price can be and it can be down to pretty close to that, 136. One thing that I wanted to do is that, I don't know about you, Brady, but I, I find this formula absolutely amazing. You know, I sat down and I understood it and I read the proof and, I, and it makes sense to me. And yet I have trouble believing it, it's so magical. And so one thing that I uh, did is that I, I reached out to Viviana Marquez again and I asked her, hey, you're amazing with programming, can you just run some simulation that will take 10 friends and will buy stickers for 10 friends and figure out how many stickers they spent and run it a hundred times so that we can get some kind of average of, of uh, where it'll be. And so I'll show you Viviana's numbers. I think that's good that not, not only do we have a proof of this that, I, that uh, we understand, I think sometimes it's good to just run some experiments to make sure that, that, uh, that the formula also holds up in, in reality and, and, and it really does. Just like I don't know which stickers are inside this pack, I might open this in a minute, I also never know what the problem of the week is going to be over at brilliant.org. So let's have a look today. The basic one says, every green square is one quarter of the square it's inscribed in. If the pattern continues infinitely, what fraction of the total figure will be green? Do you think you know the answer to that? How about we have a look at the intermediate? If A plus B over C equals six over five, and B plus C over A equals nine over two, then what is the value of A plus C over B? I think I'm gonna need a pen and paper for that one. Look, Brilliant is not just about the problem of the week, although that's one of my favorite things about it. They also have an incredible number of courses you can try covering all sorts of things, physics, computer science, mathematics, of course, and more and more people are signing up of all ages and backgrounds, because really this is a place that encourages you to change the way you think, think outside the box, how am I gonna solve problems? It really gets your brain working in different ways, and a lot of people like that. A lot of people wanna be better thinkers. That's why they're going to Brilliant. You can go there too. Go to brilliant.org slash number file so they know you came from here, and if you use slash number file, you can also get 20% off a premium membership at Brilliant. Oh, I've got the French national team. Oh, special one. Got Also got the Colombian national team. <laughs> That one's for you, Federico. Anyway, brilliant.org slash number file for that 20% off. Check them out. And thank you to them for supporting this video.